Hey guys, let's go and put something in our heads. Until we hire ourselves, I will pay. Yes, my man, let's go there. In fact, my man, is like you know my body needs it. I don't understand, what are we putting in our heads? Oh, daddy boy, we forgot you were here. <laughs> daddy boy indeed. No, I don't understand. You guys should explain it to me. Why will you understand, when you have allowed your old man to be controlling you? In fact, I am surprised he joined us today. Maybe his old man was not around, so he decided to join us. No, he sneaked out to join us. Hey Peter, your father is coming back. Run home. <laughs> you guys should stop making fun of me. I don't like it. Then be a man, enjoy yourself, and stop being a daddy's boy. Why I will not allow my father to deprive me of enjoying myself is because he enjoys himself in his own time. No one disturbs him, so he shouldn't disturb me. In fact, they will live their lives to the end, and once they are old, they will start controlling their children. That is why I could never allow my parents to disturb my life. I wonder why Peter allows his old man to control his life. Maybe he doesn't want to enjoy himself. Nobody controls me. Then follow us to the club today. Yes, prove us wrong. Is that not Peter, my son? When did he start hanging out with these bad boys? Peter. Peter. Father. Watch what happens. Let us go home. Be going. I will be coming later. What are you doing here? Let's go home. Father, what is it? Go home if you want to go home. When I feel like coming, I come. Did I tell you I didn't know the road to my house? Or do I look like a baby that needs help to walk? Leave me alone. As you can see, I am busy with my friends. Did you just say friends? It is none of your business. I am old enough to know what is good for me. Bible says in 2 Corinthians 6 verses 14 to 17, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship is righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what concord has Christ with Belial, or what part has he that believeth with an infidel, and what agreement hath the temple of God with idols, for ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate saith the Lord and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughter, saith the Lord Almighty. I am tired of you and your sermon. Excuse me. Oh no. Guys, I am back. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You are the red guy. My man, you are too much. I told you I owned myself. Now I believe. In fact, I am inviting you specially to my girlfriend's birthday party this night. Come with me to enjoy yourself. Believe me, you will like it. I will be there. Guy, you too much. Let me go and prepare. I will be waiting, my guy. Remember, 9pm. Sure. They were right. I am a man. It's time I stopped listening to my father and his sermon is trying to control my life, and it's beginning to annoy me. I am grown up, and he should respect that. Peter, you just came back and you are going out again. Where are you going? I have a party to attend. When did you start attending parties? Have you forgotten you are a child of God? You shouldn't be involved in worldly things. Father, what I don't like about you is that, you like condemning everything. Is there anything that is not worldly to you? Please allow me to enjoy my life. I never disturb you during your time. Excuse me. Come back here, Peter. I hear, you thought it was before that I did listen to you, and you used the opportunity to be controlling my life, not anymore. Father, what's up? Peter, where are you coming from? Don't tell me you have been drinking. Father, I am tired of you controlling my life. I want to enjoy my life, so leave me alone. Then lose your soul. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? I want to sleep. Oh God have mercy on my son. Father I am going out. I have a party to attend. Will you get back to your room? Why should I go back? I am no longer a child, and I am going to party with my friend whether you like it or not. Son, 
I don't like the group of people you are going out with. Stay away from them. They are destroying you. Your character and your devotion to the things of God have totally changed. Ever since you started following them, you no longer like going to church. You no longer study your books, and you promised to be a doctor, so that you could take care of me. Is this how you are going to fulfill that promise? Remember, your exam is about to start, so start concentrating and stop fooling around with ungodly people. What makes them ungodly people? Are they not human beings like us? Father, please forget that discrimination, because it would not work. God said you are a light, therefore you should come out from the darkness, stop following those your friends. They don't know God nor fear Him, they will do you no good, and I don't want to ever see you with them again. Study your books so that you will pass your exam. In fact, if that is what is making you disturb me, I will not write the exam. I don't want to. I'm not going to be a doctor. Dad, I'm tired of you controlling my life. It's time you let me do things my way. You don't tell me who to go out with, or what to do with my life. It is my life we are talking about here. Let me live it my way, please. What is your way, and why should I leave you to follow the road that leads to destruction? Is living a sinful life the way? A life that does not please God? A life that leads to had I know, is that what you call your way, a life full of darkness? People who follow the same path as you all perish. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalm 1. Son. Which way are you following? God placed you in my hands so that I will raise you to glorify his name. You are my responsibility. You are my joy. And I love you so much that I cannot allow you to walk in darkness, nor will I allow you to follow the way that will lead you to destruction. Please come out of the darkness. You called your way, and people who followed that way all regretted it. <laughs> Peter, the daddy's boy. Peter why do you allow your old man to control you? <laughs> Dad, you are disturbing me. I have had enough of your nagging. In fact, excuse me. But where did I go wrong as a father? I brought him up in the way of the Lord. This is not what I'm expecting. What is happening to my son? Lord, help me bring my son back to you. Man, I am here. I have been waiting. What is keeping you? I am sorry. I got delayed by my old man but I promise it will not happen again. Let's go in. Yeah, yeah. Guy, we are there. Enjoy yourself. Wow, see life. Baby, I am here. Why now? I have been waiting. I am sorry. Let's go then. Wow. I'm in love with you, baby. Then I am all yours. Just like that. You are the best. Are you sure? Guy, this is so sweet. I can't believe it. I told you you would enjoy it. This is just the beginning. Relax, the main fun is coming. But it's already late. Guy, let's go. My father might be worried by now, which is almost 1 p.m. Oh, sorry, I forgot you were daddy boy. Let's go. Me, daddy boy? In fact. I'm sleeping with you tonight, and I will make sure that man never sees me again. He talked too much, about the Bible this and righteousness that. I will not have fun for what? What is life for if I can't have fun and enjoy myself? Ha, 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 ha. I thought you didn't want to grow up. You wanted to remain a daddy's boy. See, I will not let my father talk to me anyhow. He knows me. I don't give him a chance at all, until he starts respecting himself. Until now, he doesn't even have my time. I live the way I want. Nobody tells me what to do. That is what being a big boy is all about. No one controls you when you are big. Thoughts it, and that's how it should be. Anyway, let's go. In fact, Guy, 
I'm tired of living with my father. I want to live on my own, but the problem is that I don't have the money. Forget about that. There are many things to do to make money very fast. In fact, if we want to become millionaires now, I know what we will do and money will start coming in. So what are we waiting for? Let's go for it. I need money. My body needs money. I want to control it, feel it, kiss it, hold it, and enjoy it. I no longer want to disturb my father. Maybe that's why he still thinks I'm a child. By the time he sees me in money, he will learn to respect me. You are correct. It is now 1 p.m. Where is this boy? Where do I run to now? I don't even know where he went. Father, he is the child you gave me? You know his whereabouts? I don't. Bring him back to me. Protect him wherever he is. Snatch him away from the hands of the devil. Cast him not away from your presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from him. Restore unto him the joy of thy salvation. And uphold him with thy free spirit. Yeah. So what is the deal? What do you say we should be doing? There is no time to waste. Let's start with Yahweh first. The boys that do it have a lot of money. In fact, they swim in money. Okay, let's go for it. Guy, I thought you said there's a lot of money in this business. How come we are not seeing enough money? In fact, we hardly see money nowadays. The business is no longer fetching money. I'm broke. You know I don't like it when I'm broke. I need money. You saw yesterday that we did not go to the party as usual because of money, and I don't like it. I want to enjoy myself until I am tired of it. Okay, then, let's go for plan B. And what is the plan B? Let's start kidnapping. When we kidnap someone, we will demand enough money from the family of that person. What? That is too much. What if they catch us? Guy, forget that. They will not catch us. The people that are doing it, have they caught them all? Nothing will happen. But it is wickedness and sin in the sight of God. Which one is not sinful and wicked in the sight of God? Is, Yahoo! Yahoo! Not sinful? Forget that. You said you needed money. Now I'm trying to help you, and you are here complaining. I said I need money. Don't you need money too? I mean, you spend money more than I do. And listen, you are not helping me. We are helping ourselves. Okay, okay, whatever. So forget about this one being a big sin, and that one being a small sin. Sin is sin and all sin are equal, and it takes a big heart to make a big money. So what do you say, are you in or out? Okay, I'm in. Let's start. Sit down there. Please don't kill me. Shut up and sit down there now. Hello. Yes, who is this? Listen to your daughter, then behave yourself. Now speak if you love your life. Daddy, please save me. What? Please don't hurt my daughter. All you need to do is cooperate, and we will leave your daughter for you. I will, I will. Wow, I can't believe I am now in money. This life is sweet. Yes, come in. Father, I am surprised to see you. How did you know I am here? Because I missed my son. I had to search until I found you. Please have a seat. Thank you. Dad, what should I bring for you? Nothing, I'm okay. Okay, maybe when you need anything, let me know. Son, I can see you have a good place here. Yes, Father, I'm grateful to God for giving me such a nice place. But does God still have a good place in your heart? Do you still honor, fear, and worship Him? Father, you will not understand. In fact, man is too busy. Proverbs 11 verse 4 says, Wealth is worthless in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. Are you righteous? Is the love of God still in you? If not, you still have the grace to make amends, repent, and turn away from all your sin? Then sin will not be your downfall. Ezekiel 18 verse 30 Father I am still a Christian, and I have not done anything that should call for repentance. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves as a father, the son he delights in. Proverbs 3 verse 11 to 12. God still wants you to come back, it is never too late, as long as you are still breathing. You still have the grace to turn around, but do not delay it. Now is the right time? 
tomorrow may be too late. Father, do not disturb yourself. You came to see me. Relax. The Holy Spirit is still with me. I mean, God is in control. You can see his goodness all over me. And so I tell you, every kind of sin and slander can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Matthew 12 verse 13. All who sin apart from the law will also perish apart from the law, and all who sin under the law will be judged by the law. Romans 2 verse 12, Remember you are a child of God. You are brought up in the ways of the Lord. You know the law. Walk in the light so that your days will be full of light. Come home, son. The Lord is still waiting for you. Turn around now while his door is still open. I will be going now. I have church activity to attend. Okay, daddy, I will pay you a visit soon. No problem, but remember that God still wants you to come home. I am a disappointment to God and my father. I have gone deep into sin, oh God. Guy, what are you thinking? My father came. Is that all? Forget that, there is business, I mean with big money. That's why I am here. We need to get this money so that we can enjoy our lives the way we want. Okay? Go on. See, I discover the governor's daughter. We are going to kidnap her, and you know what that means, we are in for big money. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yes. After this one, I will stop, so, when is the business going to take place? This night. Let's go there. This is the road she normally passes. Once I see her, I will let you know. Then you open the car door immediately and I will push her in. Okay, I will, remember no mistake. Look at them. Today will be their end, criminals. Look at her, she is coming. Get ready to drive once I drag her in. Be fast. Hey, excuse me. Yes, what is it? Please, somebody wants to see you. He said I should call you Leslie. Oh, that's my name. Who is that? Enter the car now. Who are you? I said move in. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on and where's the bullet coming from? If you move, I will blow your head. Now come down, you are under arrest. Officer, I am innocent. Shut up criminals. We have been monitoring you for a long time now. I promise you, you will rot in jail. Now move it. Oh no, oh no, is this how I will end? I deserve my punishment. I have every opportunity to live a good life, but I turn a blind eye to the word of wisdom. Shut up and move it. You will die there. Can a man take fire in his bosom, and his clothes not be burned? It's your responsibility, therefore, to take heed of Christ's warning. To do this, you have to watch over your soul and examine your relationship with God in all you do as long as you live. Does the Holy Spirit still bear witness that you are a holy and heaven-bound child of God? Interrogate your Christian professions and current spiritual experiences. Are you a true example of a believer, or have you backslidden in your heart? Do you still have a hunger for God and the desire to please Him at all times? Examine yourself, watch your conduct, don't get involved in any activity that will puncture and derail your faith in Christ. Watch your character, relate to everyone in the love of God, be holy, humble, and helpful, walk in the Spirit, and be not subject to the evil desires of the flesh. Watch your conversation. Let your words always be with grace, love, lifting, and encouragement. Colossians 4 verse 6. Watch against besetting sins and careless moments. Hebrews 12 verse 1. Forgive, never allow any root of bitterness to spring up in your heart. Hebrews 12, verse 15. Your faith may be tested. Nevertheless, keep your eyes constantly on Jesus. Hebrews 12, verse 2. He is the author and perfecter of our faith. He is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand joyful and faultless before his glorious presence. Jude 24, set your heart and affection on the things above. Don't be blinded by the pursuit of riches and comforts of this world, so that your mind becomes insensitive to Christ's imminent return. Colossians 3 verse 2, again, dear Christian, take head, don't gamble with your eternal destiny, thanks for watching. And please subscribe, like, and share. 
God bless you. And remember Jesus loves you.